you know, I worked for Bob Johnson for 10 years before we had a personal romantic relationship. Mm -hmm. And he was a mentor and he pushed me and, you know, he's responsible for a lot of my success. Uh, we did have a, a relationship while we were both married. We ended up both divorced and then people knew about the relationship. Who do the girls like? The boss. So everyone that, th that has girlfriends, they're going to keep their girls away from the boss. You know, a woman will sometimes do things that don't make sense for anyone else, but as long as it makes sense for her and her personal agenda, she'll do it. And one of these things is what we like to call sleeping your way to the top. Now, that could embody a couple of different scenarios. It could be where a woman creates a scenario, say like Corinne Steffens and the whole superhead thing, which she has now admitted she made up almost all of it but it helped her sleep her way to the top. Then you have the relatively quiet case of former BET CEO Deborah Lee and her extramarital affair with Bob Johnson, the founder of BET. Go anywhere to get the lies, but I know you came here to get the truth. Welcome to the Alphasphere. Welcome to the Alphasphere, the only place on the planet that's totally engulfed in positivity and totally submerged in alpha energy. I'm your host, Dr. B.O.A. Now, for you young heads, BET was a very, very influential platform for black entertainment before some of you were even born, but there hasn't been one like it before it and there hasn't been one like it since that, where it stood, at least in its original form, to help transform the plight of African-American people in this particular society. But Deborah Lee just showed up out of nowhere. We didn't even know who she was. And suddenly she's the CEO of BET. And Bob Johnson just handed the keys over to her as CEO. Now we come to find out because of her tell all book, which all of these women seem to do when they get to the point where they're way beyond the wall and they just don't really care anymore, where they've lived more life than they actually have left to live. Then they go with these tell all books and her tell all book admits that she cheated on her husband with Bob Johnson in order to sleep her way to the top. I wanted to tell that story because the power dynamics are so important in a relationship, and especially if you're having a relationship with someone you work for. Right. Uh, and we all know the potential pitfalls. Um, you know, I worked for Bob Johnson for 10 years before we had a personal romantic relationship mm -hmm. and he was a mentor and he pushed me and you know he's responsible for a lot of my success uh we did have a, a relationship while we were both married we ended up both divorced and then people knew about the relationship uh the company knew the public we started going places together the the downfall of a relationship like that is if you want to get out of it and that's the part where it, it came and I wanted to break up. I saw it wasn't a long-term relationship. And my job and my career was held over my head. And it was like, well, if you want to break up with me, then you can leave tomorrow. Now, she may not admit she slept her way to the top, but what is this scenario? I'll sleep with my boss and elevate my career. The only problem is... The boss said the elevation comes with the relationship and it also goes with the relationship. When we split, your opportunities will show wane. Now, I don't know what she did back then because she did end up becoming CEO of BET. But now she wants to spill the beans and not spill the beans as in, well, I did this to my husband. And, you know, I just felt like it was the best thing to do. None of that. Now she's the victim because Bob wouldn't let her break up with him without it costing her something the same way it was going to cost him. See, you know, people don't understand. When you go to a job, when they fire you or you quit, they don't keep paying you. When you go to a gym and work out and diet properly and get in shape, when you stop going to the gym and dieting properly, your body doesn't reward you with a continued fantastic physique. When you go to a casino and you lose all the money you bought to gamble with, they don't come around and say, wait a minute, let's open this machine and get your money back out. 
Oh, you're done spending? It's time for you to go. Symbiotic relationships end when the two parties split. And if a woman is gaining benefits for sleeping with her superior, her boss, or any coworker at all, then it's a symbiotic relationship. Once her benefit stops, the... So to me, that's the good guy. It's, it's all about perspective. When you think about the fact that now she'll come out and try to act like Bob Johnson did something wrong to her, not once did this woman address the fact that she cheated on her husband and she was wrong for that. Because you know what? A career woman doesn't think she's wrong for advancing her career. Just like us as men, we do whatever we have to do in order to get to the point we want to get to. You know what I'm saying? Unless you have a strong moral compass and you exist within the midst of a moral fiber, then you are going to do whatever. And there are sometimes there are no limits to what you won't do or to what you're willing to do in order to move yourself forward. That's what men have done since the beginning of time. Now, if a woman wants to do that, fine. But no man should marry that woman. So the fault of marrying that woman belongs to her husband. He should have never married her. Any woman who is dedicated to her career cannot be dedicated to her man. Any woman who is dedicated to being a boss cannot be dedicated to being a wife. There's a such thing as a boss chick. There's a such thing as a good wife. You ain't never heard of such thing as a good boss chick. And you ain't never heard of such thing as a boss wife. Unless you're Steve Harvey. And you believe that the queen, because it is the most valuable piece on the chessboard, that she's the most valuable piece in your life, even though you make all the money and bring all the value to the situation. Men are slick. He know good and well. You respect him as the king of the castle. Yes. But you the queen. And the queen is the most powerful piece on the chessboard. Hi. Keep telling him what to do. He'll be all right. You see, when you hear guys like this talk, it gives you all the evidence you need to know and understand that women are this way because men allow them to be that way. Now, Steve Harvey ain't got no, no Deborah Lee. Steve Harvey ain't got no BET. But even in his household, he has stated that this woman is the perfect woman for him. Now, mind you, her past history is already out there where she went from one family member to another family member when the first family member got jammed up. That she's a hood chick, a dope girl, but it doesn't matter. When a man elevates the value of a woman, then the value of that woman is elevated. There's nothing you and I can do about it. That's why I don't do a whole lot of getting involved in you know, this whole thing about you know, value and, and, and marketplace and all that, man. Let me tell you something. I don't care nothing about marketplace value because the market don't mean a damn when this one individual person who's in a position of power can give you your value and elevate your value. The market doesn't dictate anything. The connections dictate everything. Now, Dame Dash has a great explanation on this. The boss always gets the chick if he wants her. If he wants her. Now, you got to be a boss that a woman wants to be with. And obviously, Bob Johnson was a man that Deborah Lee wanted to be with. Even so much, in fact, that she would cheat on her husband. I know somebody's going to say, well, Bob Johnson cheated on his wife, too. Let's be honest. It's not the same. A man entering a woman is not the same as a woman being entered. It's not the same. We, we all know it's not the same. You understand? Like Tate said to Jess Pearlie in her panel, a man gets four women pregnant, you know who the father of all those children are. If a woman dealing with four men gets pregnant, you have no idea which one of those men is the father of that child. You have no idea. So the reasoning behind this is that you must keep in mind that whatever happens happens for a reason and that reason nine times out of ten is that you as a man allow a woman to do whatever she wants to do a woman only does what you allow her to do will smith is the perfect example of that a woman will do and continue to do what you allow her to do in the first place i'm not saying a woman can't do something you didn't allow her to do it the first time you allow her to do it if you stay with her and give her the opportunity to do it the second time I'm not dealing with no backlash. I'm not dealing with no backflack. I'm not dealing with no back talk. I'm not dealing with no big mouth. I'm not dealing with no disobedience. I'm not dealing with none of that. If you can't give me shut up as an obedience, you can go on because I can find another you. You ain't going to find another me. This is the mindset that a man must have. And you must have this mindset because it is true, because you have developed yourself mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally, financially in these ways. Because in the end, a woman will always find a way to play the victim after she has spent all of this time being the victim. 
See, coming up through the ranks, becoming the BET CEO, that was, that was her victory. She was victorious. Now, on the end, she wants to recall that time and use that exact same time frame and now turn it into a time when she was playing the victim. And women are okay with that. Women are going to point out the fact, well, you got what you deserve. You, when you cross that line, you got to deal with the consequences. No, women don't believe in consequences. They believe that they should be able to move throughout. That's another thing they don't understand. They say they want to be able to do the things that men have always done and be okay with that. Well, men dealt with consequences and repercussions from all of that. They don't want the consequences and repercussions. They want to do that, reap the benefit of it, but none of the fault, none of the, none of the consequences, one of the hardships that come with it. They don't want to deal with any of those, none of the consequences, none of the hardships, none of the repercussions. They don't want to deal with any of those things. So here she is right here admitting that she cheated on her husband with her boss. And not once did she say, I apologize to my husband. Why? She ain't sorry about that. It helped her career. You got two choices. You can wife up a career woman who is going to always put her career before you and be a terrible wife, or you can hold off and wait until you find a wife that's meant to be a wife. But the choice is yours. He who found the wife found the good thing. But obviously, according to Deborah Lee's husband, according to Will Smith, According to Russell Simmons, according to Steve Harvey, just marrying a woman, don't make her a wife. Because she got three or four in her blood, isn't there? All you got to do is do something to make her blood boil. Or either have another man do something, like Bob Johnson did their belief. Here's the opportunity. See this carrot? It's an opportunity. All you got to do. I worked for Bob Johnson for 10 years before we had a personal romantic relationship. Mm -hmm. While we were both married, we ended up both divorced and then people knew about the relationship. And he was a mentor and he pushed me and you know, he's responsible for a lot of my success. Uh